Hey everyone, welcome back. In this lecture, we will see how we can do two-way data binding. If you previously worked with jQuery, then you probably know that creating two-way data binding is quite hard. But with Vue.js, you can do it easily. And one more thing, in our previous lecture, I have introduced new directive which is vModel. And because I didn't explain it that, so you may be wondering what's that? Is it from HTML5? No. It is from view as you can see that v dash and this is view directive so let's dive deeper in that so in here we have this simple app which have this input and below that we have h4 title and in our view we have nothing now what i want to do i want to change this title value whenever i type in my input field like if i type hello it should change hello and even if i type H E it should change and after L it should change. So how we can do two way data binding in Vue.js? For that we will use V model directive. So in our input we will add V model and we have to bind it to someone. For this let's say title and in our data we will define title. At initially it will be empty just like this now next thing is because we have title in our data we can output it in our s4 tag okay perfect now let's run our app okay so everything looks fine and you are not seeing that title because in our data we set it to empty and that's why we don't have anything below input field now let's test this yeah it is working perfectly so what the heck is going on so when you apply v model and bind it to this title Vue.js will watch this title property and whenever the value for this property changes, it will update in our DOM. So currently our title is empty and Vue is watching our title and when I type H, this input changes and the value H is assigned to title. And when Vue receives this, it updates our DOM and displays us H. And again. This happens because of that watchers and you can find this juicy stuff in your view instance you can do like console log in your view instance so this is how you can create two data binding in Vue.js see you next